we are ready for another crazy Diamond League final with Pistons headline the men's mile race. It is promised to be one of the greatest and most stacked mile races to be ever seen. 10 out of the 13 men on the start line were lining up in the final of the World 1500m Championships. Big favourite Jakob Ingebrigtsen looked fresh and ready to go on yesterday's press conference, next to Jürgen Boos, who is aiming for the American mile record of 3.46.91 of Allen Lab. Yeah, just uh, stick to me as long as you can and <laughs> you get yourself where it is. Jakob has had a dominant season so far, with two world records of which the 2000 meters was only last week in Brussels. It's a world record! He took down the world record from no one else than Gigam El Gourouche. And the question arises if he might be able to take another world record of Hika Melgorouche in a mile tonight. The Pacers will be aiming for 151.5 through 800 meters, which is 344.30 pace. The world record, on the other hand, is 343.13, which means he needs to run a negative split. I guess if Ingebrigtsen feels good enough to push, he might go for that world record. But he doesn't put any pressure and we probably might see the world record standing after today. But world records aside, we are looking at a phenomenous race here with an astonishing lineup with top competitors from all over the world. Sadly, Josker, the reigning world champion and only person to have defeated Ingebrigts in this year, is skipping this race, probably to put his focus on the Olympics of next year. Nevertheless, place 3 of the worlds, Nordas from Norway with a huge kick is in the lineup. Place 4 of worlds, Abel Kipsing is here. Place 5 of worlds, Pierre in the cruise with also an incredible kick. Place 6, Mario Garcia, also a sub 330 1500m runner. Place 7 of worlds, Cole Hocker, desperately wanting to take down Pierre in the cruise for American glory may be aiming as well for the American record. He ran a 330.70 1500m PB in the world final, so we might not have seen the best of him yet. Also place 8 of worlds, Reynolds Chariot of Kenya is on the start line. Place 10 of worlds, the rising 18 year old Nils Laros might take home another national record tonight. On place 11 of worlds we have Azadin Habs, and then we have also Stuart McSwain, who looked promising in the 2000 meter last week in the Bristol Diamond League, where he took down another Australian record, but sadly he missed out on a place for the world 1500 meter final. Next to him also Ellie Giles and George Mills are on the start line. So uh, it's looking promising, I hope you're all thrilled and see you with the race results afterwards. <laughs>